It might be 1,500 miles from Kyiv, but in South End on Sea today, the plight of the people of the Ukrainian capital and across the whole country was clearly on Prince Charles's mind. He was in Essex to confer city status on South End, granted by the Queen after the killing of its MP Sir David Amos last year. The killing, he said, was an attack on democracy. But the prince then turned to President Putin's invasion. We are seeing those same values under attack today in Ukraine in the most unconscionable way. In the stand we take here, we are in solidarity with all those who are resisting brutal aggression. Prince Charles met Vladimir Putin on a state visit to Britain in 2003, then just a relatively new president of Russia. But he is a politician, it seems, the heir to the throne has never taken to. In 2014, on a trip to Canada, shortly after Putin invaded Crimea, the prince apparently said, and now Putin is doing just about the same as Hitler. It made sensational headlines at the time, but looks much less sensational after the events of the past week. William and Kate, meanwhile, were in Wales today, St David's Day. They voiced their support for the people of Ukraine at the weekend. The Duke and Duchess met Vladimir Zelensky in 2020, and today he responded to their message in a tweet. He and his wife, he said, are grateful to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge that at this crucial time they stand by our country. Members of the royal family are duty-bound to be politically impartial and ordinarily go to great lengths not to criticise any country or any leader. But these are not ordinary times. And even though the royals can't always say what they want, they can also see right from wrong. Chris Ship News at 10.